Nos encontramos en el bosque reservado. We are located in the reserved forest. This is an academic unit of the Universidad Nacional Agraria de Selva. At this moment, we are in the Bambusal. We are going to talk a little bit about the history of the Universidad Nacional Agraria de Selva, located in the high Peruvian jungle. Now to talk a little bit about the history of bamboo. Notice that when this was a Tingo Maria experimental station, which was created in 1944, in 1947, McClure, a bamboo researcher made an important collection of the bamboos that existed here and also of some species that could have been introduced. In 1953, the first bamboo adaptation plantation was made here in Tinga Maria, directly in the experimental station. And then in 1964, it became what we know as a National Agrarian University of the Jungle. At that time, the United States Agricultural Agency brought some species, among them a large number of bamboo species. In this area, more or less, a thousand bamboo stocks or cuttings of 15 different species are brought. Of these 15 different species introduced from the south of the United States, and Central America, we have advanced the planting process in other areas of the Amazon. The most commercial species are the Calamus asper and the Giganto clavapus. Specifically here in Tinga Maria in Peru, we find this species which is the Dentro Calamus asper which is known as a giant bamboo. We have seen that here, when the experimental station began to operate in the 40s or so, one of these species was planted, in which until now, little interest has been given. Since then, we have seen in many places that bamboo has started to grow in a natural way. And due to the potentialities that we have been seeing, one of them is that this species lends itself very well for construction and also for handicrafts. This unit is important because he, students, teachers, researchers, can carry out their practices. It is almost a living laboratory that the university has. We are one of the few universities in Peru that has a reserved forest within its academic units, and there are approximately 217 hectares, of which 180 hectares have forest coverage. Arguably, the university and Tinga Maria have the largest collection of introduced bamboo species in Peru. Mi nombre es Enrique. My name is Enrique Bolaños Solgado. I'm an environmental engineer and I'm also a bamboo artist. We have been carrying out this project since 2018. It started, in fact, with a union of young people who were looking for a job opportunity to be able to practice and contribute something to society. Bamboo came to us to give us a clear answer to the different problems that were happening to us as people who live and work. Pues el bambú permite que, que las personas puedan trabajar. Bamboo allows people to work and receive some economic retribution. The best thing for us is the environmental way in which bamboo responds to us. En el tema ambiental, 
pues, eh, como sabemos... Eh, On the environmental issue, we can clearly notice the impact of climate change. You can notice the increase in temperature. The sun now burns more than before, so it is a concern for everyone, especially us who have studied this career. We see that it is a problem that goes beyond our country and is located at the international level. Con, con el bambú vimos que es una alternativa. With bamboo, we saw that it is a very good alternative to wood because one of the causes of this climate change is a deforestation of forests. And another is because we ourselves as human beings use or demand wood. That is why we present bamboo as an alternative to mitigate the use of wood and thus prevent more hectares of forest from being cut down. We see that we have this function of being able to demonstrate to others that you can build, you can make furniture, you can do many things, and in this way reduce the demand for wood from forests. De los bosques. La importancia que tiene porque viene aquí nosotros... Eh... Bamboo is of great importance because here we sell but on a smaller scale. Bamboo is important because it has allowed many farmers to propagate and generate a business model that allows them to sell. This material is used to make structures for houses, playgrounds, and it also has a specific use in handicrafts. For example, this has had a boom because it is being promoted through youth groups that are promoting bamboo after some years of being forgotten. I think we are beginning to give it the value that bamboo really should have in this region of Peru, and that is commendable for the young people who are venturing into this subject. Bamboo has proved to be what we're looking for as an environmental engineers. We were looking for a way to reduce carbon emissions, a way to replace wood, a way to solve the use of plastic. Then bamboo presented itself to us as something that was already present here. It presented itself in an almost magical way. Very, very hermoso porque porque hizo que para nosotros in a very beautiful way because it made the idea of using it explode in our heads and it presented itself as the answer to what we were looking for. Bamboo was the answer that we needed. The university in which we had prepared ourselves had given us that touch of beginning to be able to undertake and to initiate and the bamboo came to complete it. El bambú es una especie que crece rápido y entonces eso también... Bambú es una especie que crece rápido y esto también favorece la carbón de sequestración en su estructura y permite limpiar el ambiente, el aire, la atmósfera. Ahora, el bambú también está siendo usado, generalmente, algunos bambúes, para generar riparian defensas. So that from this point of view, it is also contributing to improving the forest. And it makes a synergy with the civil structure, with the biological part. In addition, bamboo is being planted on the small river banks to promote the protection of these water sources and is also being planted in hillside areas to reduce the impact of landslides, etc. Some work is also being carried out in degraded soils to initiate or promote the protection of these soils. De repente iniciar o promover una protección de esos suelos. Claro que todo esto va... This is thanks to the integration with other forest species at the beginning, after which bamboo remains. Cabe decir que 
fue por el arte y por la cultura que entramos al bambú. We are artists and through bamboo we have managed to find a material in which we can express ourselves. To express art, culture, environmental education and to be able to tell the world that bamboo is a material that is not cut down. El bambú es un material que no se tala. El bambú no es un recurso que nosotros cortamos. Bamboo is not a resource that we cut down and it dies like a tree. Bamboo is not a resource that we cut and it will die like a tree. Bamboo grows and grows as long as we manage it. Entonces, todo esto... All this, together with the answers and the information that Bamboo gave us in an almost explosive way, almost like a boom, brought us the creation of all this, the creation of what we are now. We are Bamboo and that is exactly why, because it is the Bamboo mixed with a boom, And in this course, every day has been a day of learning, of being surprised by the material. Every time you enter the bamboo, you realize that you cannot leave because every day you learn something more. It is so simple and yet so complex that for people who are very curious to learn or have skills in their hands, it is a wonder. Aquí presentamos al Dendrocalamus como una especie. Here we present the Dendrocalamus asper as a species that has a potential in Tinga Maria because all over the world people talk about guadua. It has a potential for construction, but also here in Tinga Maria we see that we only have this species and the guadua species is very little. We start by looking at their potential use from the management plan because from that point, we need to reinforce to be able to take advantage of them. This consists of a whole activity to make a transformed product. How do we do this? We go to a bamboo plant to identify the canes. You can see the difference between them, especially in terms of color and thickness. So it is very important to choose from the field a cane that is mature. Why? so that the construction or transformation that is going to be done is very good and of high quality. Because if we transform a cane that is green, we have the risk that insects may enter it and that it may not be as strong in the structural issue. It is important to start from that point. Here we can recognize that a mature bamboo presents lichens. It presenta eh, un indicador son los líquenes, esas manchas blancas que se puede ver. That is to say, those white spots that you can see. And then, how to know that the cane is young? It is when basically a cane is of light green color or also when it has less spots. Another indicator that we can see to identify that the bamboo is ripe is with a machete you tap on it and it gives you a higher pitch sound. So from there, we started to take advantage of the bamboo, but we do it in a responsible way. It is not that we go to see bamboo and cut all the cane. No, that is not how it is. What I'm telling you is part of the bad activities that have been taking place. But we believe that it also due to lack of knowledge since here in Tinga Maria, we are promoting more and more the good use and good management of bamboo. No es cortar todas las cañas, sino es aprovechar aproximadamente el 40%. It is not about cutting all the canes. It is about taking advantage of approximately 40%. It is important to leave young mature canes so that the next generations continue to sprout more canes. Because if we cut all the canes, we would generate a delay in the growth of new canes. So if a producer is engaged in the sale of canes, has to know this process, in which much of the management plan of a bamboo. Okay, entonces, eh, pudiendo mostrarles este, este objeto. Well, now I would like to show you this object, which is a vessel. First of all, its technical specifications are up to 450 milliliters that fit in this glass which is made of bamboo, of a species called Gigantoclavipus, which comes from India and was introduced in Tinga Maria in 1950. 
Nowadays, we are transforming it into a beautiful glasses with this cultural addition. What does this represent? What does this mean? The bamboo is a means to express this ancestral knowledge, this Amazonian iconography called Kenny, and our lines that represent the vibrations of nature. So this species is very nice to be able to work on these kind of objects. Para poder trabajar en, 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 estos, en este tipo de, de objetos. En este taller, en este, en este lugar, podemos ver in this workshop, we can see different species that are used in handicrafts. En la bicicleta. Entonces, eh, primero para poder saber lo que tú quieres. Furniture and even in the bicycle. First to know what you want, you have to know the species you have. We have experimented in a way with different bamboos, with green and unripe bamboos, and many things have happened. The best thing is to choose the quality material from the field that will give you the guarantee that the whole chain has a quality material. Then once you know the bamboo and the use you want to give it, the work begins. Se dice que para trabajar con bambú eh, no se requiere de gran máquinas. It is said that to work with bamboo does not require large machines. It does not require great technology, and it is true. I could say that with a saw, a drill, and some gugilias are enough to start making bamboo. Wonders. Para transformar el bambú, lo primero hay que saber que, que el material sea el adecuado. If you have a lot of talent and a lot of desire to know, you can do whatever you want. To transform bamboo, the first thing you have to know is that the material is suitable and then know what we want to do. We can transform bamboo into crafts or furniture and also in houses or homes. In this way, we have been able to experiment with the species that are here in Tinga Maria. For us, it is a joy to have so much genetic diversity of bamboo, species of Asia, Indonesia, Central America, here in Tinga Maria, because this was an experimental center many years ago. And thank God we are here to continue what they did five decades ago. So to say that bamboo can be transformed into whatever you want, you can do whatever you want with bamboo. It is freedom to the maximum to create whatever you want. So bamboo gives you that. It gives you the freedom to do whatever you want. Creo que el bambú sí, ahora más que hay una tala pues de medida de bosques. I believe that now bamboo is going to resurge because there is an excessive cutting of forests. The wood is practically running out, especially the good wood and other common woods that are now being sold and we do not know with certainty what species they are. Bamboo is a great alternative for farmers to promote and also to sell their products. I believe that in this part we have to support the farmers, especially in what has to do with treatment, preservation, so that they not only see the local market, but also the national market. With each species that we found here in Tinga Maria, it is believed that there are approximately two more subspecies. So each species has a potential for use, we want to exalt that potential so that in some other way we can continue to promote the use of bamboo here in Tinga Maria. Since we are starting and we are making progress and demonstrating that here in Tinga Maria we can have a starting point to continue with research, which is the most important thing here at the university. This is an endorsement so that the products or anything that can be transformed has a guarantee. In this way we are working and we will continue to promote the use of bamboo. Y, y seguir impulsando el uso del bambú. Lo que nosotros queremos es 
es más que una empresa, más que una industria, es hacer una empresa social. What we want is more than a company, more than an industry, is to create a social enterprise, to create an organization that allows bamboo to generate work, to generate culture, to take care of the environment, and also to guarantee that the forests are safe, that they are not being seen as just another resource to be extracted, exported and transformed. Bamboo is there. Make your house out of bamboo. Make everything you want out of bamboo, but leave the forests alone. Let biodiversity grow. Let life go on. We have bamboo for us to be able to do whatever we want. We have bamboo to give an answer to whatever we want.